What if I told you I could save one million lives every year with just refrigerator magnets and a laser pointer? My name is John Lewandowski, my company is DDG, and we are reinventing global health diagnostics. The mosquito is actually the deadliest and most costly creature on the planet. But how is that possible? It's so small. Well, actually, when you get bit by a mosquito that has a malaria infection, you can either become symptomatic or asymptomatic. The problem with being asymptomatic is that actually you don't get diagnosed and you don't get treated. You continue walking around getting bit by other mosquitoes and transmitting it to other people, causing a vicious cycle. Now let's say you even are symptomatic. Oftentimes malaria is so prevalent, they just give you treatment even before knowing that you have a malaria infection. This, is, this causes serious overtreatment and wasted dollars and potential resistance down the line. Let's say they actually do a diagnosis with the two main competitors in the space, rapid diagnostic tests like a pregnancy test or a light microscopy. These competitors are slow, expensive, or require medical training or refrigeration. And so oftentimes, only give a correct diagnosis 50% of the time. And so that's why malaria is a $12 billion problem, affects 3.3 billion people every year, and kills one million. Because out of every 1,000 malaria infections, only 500 fevers are identified, 250 tests are performed, and 125 diagnoses are correct. That's a serious problem. Our solution is the rapid assessment of malaria. It looks for a magnetic biomarker created by the malaria parasite that when exposed to a magnetic field, blocks the amount of laser light that goes through the sample in proportion to the level of infection in that patient. That allows us to create a reusable device paired with a disposable cuvette and supplemented with a patient software database. Now we have an entirely new workflow. You simply take a drop of blood, mix it in a cuvette, drop it in the device, and less than 15 seconds later, you get a quantitative diagnosis with a patient ID number. It's fast, accurate, low cost, and sensitive. But the reason it's so good is that we're finally able to combine a low cost diagnostic with a low limit of detection, something that's never been done before. These other two competitors can't actually diagnose an asymptomatic infection, or they don't have low enough costs to get enough traction in this space. So a device like ours can have a serious competitive advantage and dominate the market for the next decade using just these two parameters. And we've used these two parameters to actually collect current customers and have been selling it mostly as either a research tool for interested universities or on an evaluative purpose to clinical and commercial partners who want to use it to determine if it's worth an investment for further uh, exclusive distribution in those areas. We've also gotten letters of interest for private companies in their target markets like India who are mostly focused on direct cost savings in the market against those two competitors. And the private market is a subset of the $13.8 billion uh, global point of care diagnostic market, which is reduced to $1.5 billion for malaria and split fairly evenly between the private and public market. A fairly large portion of that private market is these independent, independent clinical and hospital chains that want a razor, razor blade device that has a low cost disposable that allows a company like us to be sustainable, allows them to make money on upselling the disposable, and also offers an affordable test to that patient, something that no current test certainly does. We've also been getting interest from the public market. Now the public customers are focused on reducing the amount of people walking around with those asymptomatic infections, and also reducing the number of over-treatment and wasted treatment dollars in the market. Now this is a smaller segment of the public market, but something that actually doesn't have a current inhabitor whatsoever, because no current test has that extremely low limit of detection in a rugged and portable device. So this is an immediate entry possibility for us. So using that traction, we've developed a small team across MIT, Harvard Business School, and USC. And I wanted to show briefly the financial projections of our company to show that we're not just a social venture, we're a financially profitable one too. When most other competitors actually lose money on their malaria diagnostic in their overall diagnostic portfolio, we have the potential to let our disposables drive the revenue, give the devices away for free, and reach hundreds of millions of people. And so the next steps for us, after doing a product usability analysis with IDEO, we've developed